Hey guys, how are you today? So I found this question on Unreal Engine Forum, Niagara and Sequencer. This question is very old, back uh, five years old. But my job is to answer each and every question related to Niagara in this forum. So basically, a part of just the sequencer, he wants to do like uh, lock the frames with the Niagara so he can scrub backward or forward. So particles should like uh, also uh, snap with that. So let's cover the whole sequencer in the Niagara, uh, in the Unreal Engine uh, using Niagara. So let's say here in this empty folder, you have this cinematic uh, level sequencer, which you can also create from here. So I'll just create this and call it anything. And just double click and then you can just drag this here. Okay. And you can also drag here. Then when you play from here, your sequencer will play. And you have to just tick here or to play and you want to loop, you can do these things. Okay. So now I'll just delete it. So I have this here. So let's say first you have the Niagara system and you have an effect like I have these lots of effects here. So I'll cover all these things. First, let's say you have a fountain basic emitter. I'll call it FX. Okay, so not be working. I'll take again. Sometime it's a little buggy. So I have this fountain. Okay. And let's say you have this fountain and you just want to use it in the sequencer. There's a two ways you can drag it into the viewport. If you have already in your viewport some particle system that you want to control with sequencer, just select that. And here in the sequencer, click here and go here and then add. So if you, this is selected, it will show you here. Otherwise you can add it from, you can search here or you can add it from here. Okay, so I'll add. Now you have this FX. If you go here, there are some uh, uh, some parameters here. Like you have to take this Niagara component if you want uh, your, if you want more uh, accessibility with it you want to access the user parameters and other parameters so if you take the niagara component so inside the niagara component all the user parameter and other parameter will be visible here and also the life cycle what is life cycle i'll show you what it is so basically now you have this niagara and you can put keys on it so you can also like right click and make this spawnable so if i do that it will have this spawn key. So if you don't want it from start, you want it like on this frame. So I'll just put a key here and one frame back, I'll just disable it. So this red part shows that this particle system is disabled on this frame and on the green, it will be visible. So if I play, it will start here. And if you want to disable it again, like on this frame, you can again put a key and on next frame, I'll just disable it. Just for this time frame, it will be visible. Okay. So one way is to do this thing. You take a spawn. Okay. And the other thing is, if you click here and take this life circle, you will have this bar. Okay. And you can drag it from here and make it shorter. Or if you want to cut it, you can just right click on here on this and in the edit, you can trim it from the left or right. So and there's also short trim. So if you trim it from the right, you have just this part. You can also scale it like this. So now it will work just for that time. But you see one thing if you noticed when this is finishing particles uh, stop spawning, but they are not dying altogether. But with the spawn, when I'm keying on the spawn, they will just disappear on the next frame. Okay. You can also like make this like longer. Okay. So the next thing is the question he this guy asks if how can we log that? So there's an option in this life cycle. So if you have this, there's a system here, system life cycle, and you can just use desired age. So now you can see it's not playing, it's stop because my timeline is stop. If I play it, stop, it's play. And if I just go back or forward, it's just working on these frames. 
so in the new versions of unreal engine like 5.3 after 5.3 or maybe after 5.2 this thing is here otherwise if you don't find this you are working on older version or maybe unreal engine 4.27 right click in the properties you will find that here desired age okay if you don't find that here so your question is answered but we have a lot of things we will cover here so this is a looping effect how you can attach it with an animation or anything so let's say you have a uh, animation let me start a walk if i have so just so i have this walk okay i'll just drag this into my sequencer and from here i'll just take the walk actually you can repeat this it will keep walking and now if you want your particle system to attach with like hand or leg let's say this particle system is uh, less connected for now so what you can do and you don't have this effect in the viewport you could just want to work here i'll just delete it from here and i'll just drag these effects directly into the sequencer okay so you have to just take a niagara component and i'll also take this this is the best best practice take the life cycle okay you want from first frame and then you will attach it and keep in mind where your slider is you have to just go to the zero frame or whatever the frame your uh, short start go here attach and attach with walk then it will ask which bone you want to attach let's say i want to attach with left toe base and then you will have this attachment parameter so if your slider is here it will come here so it will not attach on these frames it will start attaching when this this bar is starting so keep in mind it should cover the whole part where you want to attach now if i play see this part of your system is attached with that bond okay so now this is not local if you want to make it local it will behave like this and also you can make this like if you want like a sphere I will delete these things and you have a sphere of particle and that is also local so there's a particle of sphere on your bond you can also offset if you want so if you if you want your niagara to be offset little bit just press g and just move it up now it's still using that bone but now it it is offset a little bit cool next thing is how to like do uh, like if you want to make a dust effect for the each step how you do that so let's say you want to make it dust so i'll just use a burst i'll just use once and instead of this i'll take the burst and let's say you have 20 particles and i have burst dust color like this maybe 50 and 40 or maybe 80 and 50 and let's say you have hemisphere uh, not this this and also you want to add velocity i'll take point velocity and you have a little drag so basically you have this thing a bust but i want life maybe point, point three point two maybe point five and velocity pretty higher like this it's a very basic thing okay we can make a good dust but we are going to cover the sequencer so now i don't want to attach it if you want to you can attach with this but because my character is static is just walking on a place i just want to show you how you do that so what you can do you can you can do a, lots of ways you can duplicate effects or you can just activate or deactivate this okay so let's say you don't have this attachment and you have this life cycle let's also use desired age and this thing is quite big let me use little 30, 20, less velocity. 
So you have this pool. I'll just take a little up so it is on the ground. Now, when this step is here, I want my dust to spawn here. I'll just move it and just you, uh, you can key. So when this guy, this girl is just putting the feet here, I just want to key on the spawn one feet keyframe back and I'll just turn this off. Now, I just delete actually this thing because it is starting that okay from the start now it's working so for the la this foot i will just keep uh, activating it every time like uh, on this here again so i will just put a key one keyframe back and i'll just turn this off so now it will work two times and for the other fit i will do it uh, i will just duplicate this and i'll do it again so i just done it for two times only okay and let's say you want to control the parameters so let's say you want to control the particle spawn or yeah you can also key on the spawn rate if you want uh, and this 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 is a burst if you want to key on the spawn rate you can also do that so let's say I want to delete it and we have this instead of burst, we have this spawn rate and I will just want to make it infinite. And this is spawn rate is a user parameter. So I'll just make it a user parameter. You can change the name if you want. Default value may be 20. Okay, and I'll just compile. Here now it's spawning again and again. So what I want when it's just hitting here. So after taking the Naira component, I'll go here and take the spawn rate, which is the parameter. So if you change the rename here, if you rename it like spawn rate one and compile, now you see here we have this spawn rate one. Taking this and putting the key on 20, one keyframe back, it is zero. Okay. And then some few frame back uh, after, it will make zero again. Sometimes when you make the user parameter, it doesn't work. You have to just compile full in Unreal Engine 5.4. There's a, this is little buggy. So now you'll see we had particle, but it is spawned very for a very short time. So spawn rate is very low for that. So if you zoom in this key, we have zero value. In this key, we have 20. Let's make it 200 just to show you. Okay. So if I play. We have this so you can key is your parameters if you want to change the color you can do that so like you want different color for this foot or, or you want to control the uh, other thing you want to make this darker or uh, control the opacity you can do that so let's say you want to change the color so i'll just make this user parameter from here or if you want to just make this a uh, darker or lighter so you can just make this or you can make it float then you can make this user parameter and i'll just call this shade so this is shade how much uh the brightness or the darkness i want so now in here i'll go again and take the shade and this is now one and you see how particle it is you can increase it like this is very much like 500 and again, I have to just fill down and see this is very bright. So if you want these particles should be very bright for some frames, like on this frame, I want 500 on this and on this frame, I want 500 and on the next frame, I just want it one. So if you notice at very first frame, it is bright. So you can also animate things, your parameters, according to your animation according to your requirement so we have covered the life cycle we have covered the user parameters we have covered the attachments and one more thing i want to cover let's just delete this if you have flutes uh, if you have flutes you can also cache that so let's say we'll take a niagara system and i'll just take 
this explosion So if you will open, depending on your hardware, uh, you will have, it will take time to like compile and to play it smoothly, you'll see. So let me just go to the summary and reduce the, here is the resolution. Let's make it 60 for now. and it should be visible now yeah it's shaders are start compiling now now it's visible so depending on the hardware you can see it's still stucking so if you want to cache that in the sequencer you can do that so if i just drag it into the sequencer and you have this okay and you want like more high res you can do that so basically if you have here uh let me stop this and you want like 150 and now 150 will not work here properly. So you can just go here. First, take, I'll take the Naira component and go here. And there will be a Naira cache. Just click on this recording button. It will record for those frames. And it will just make your 200 resolution fluid and cache. And then it will work properly. So it will not simulate again and again. So now you can see, I can just scrub my timeline. Although, because this character is colliding with that, I'll just delete and I'll just actually recache it because that is an explosion. So for all for your cinematic shots, you can just cache your fluids and then you can just render. Cool, now it's working on 200 resolution smoothly. Okay, and you can just play back and forward. So apart of this, what else I'm missing to cover using Niagara? Uh, we have covered parameters. yeah that's all i guess if you if i'll if you have any questions just let me know i'll cover in another video so thanks for watching keep learning bye bye